Hi everyone, it's Saku MC here, sorry it's been a while. So, this video is one of the most requested one. In my previous giveaway video, I've asked you for um, what did you want me to do, like as videos, and a lot of you guys have requested me to do a video about the drawing tools that I'm using and the papers and yeah, all this kind of stuff. Um, so this video is going to be about the drawing tools. If you want a video about the papers, just post a comment below and tell me yes, I want it. Um, because I didn't want this to be too long. And yeah, I've got a lot of different papers, so yeah. I'm just focusing on the drawing tools. Um, what else? So yeah, and if you want a tutorials on one of the tools that I'm going to show to you, also tell me. I want a tutorial on this <laughs> and I think that's it. Oh yeah, and the last thing, I'm also working on more tutorials, especially the ones that you have requested, um, like how to draw hair, how to shade, um, how to, yeah, a lot of different things, how to draw a guy. <laughs> um, so yeah, they will come as soon as possible. I don't think in December because it's Christmas very soon, I've got a lot of things to do, um, but probably in January. In January. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any more questions, any kind of stuff that you don't understand, just post a comment below and tell me, and I will try to answer to it, and yeah, see you soon, bye! So, here we go for the drawing tools. The first technique that I'm going to show to you is the pencils, the colored pencils, so this is a little doodle that I made, um, so I'm using the I will go like this. I don't know if you can really f see the name, but this is called the uh, Polychromos by Faber Castell. I think it's a German brand. Yes. So I've got this for ten years now, and I didn't buy anymore. I, they last really long. They are really vivid colors. They stick on most surface. I like to mix them, you know, with Copic or watercolors, like to just add texture. Um, they they are really great. They don't break. They are real wood. Um, so yeah, I really recommend this to you. Uh, the downside of this is just it's kind of expensive just for wood and a uh, lead. <laughs> it's kind of like two dollars or maybe two fifty. Something like that, so it's kind of expensive, but I really like them. And um, and I've got a lot of colors. Uh, I don't know if you can really see, but I've got a, a lot of colors basically. And I did some of my art uh, only with um, colored pencils. And I will post a link something somewhere in the description box, so you have like one example um, of a drawing. Uh, basically done with uh, one of the techniques that I'm going to show to you so yeah so this is for the cobalt pencils next is the ballpoint, ballpoint pens yeah I think I pronounced it right <laughs> this is kind of hard to say uh, this is the basic pens that you have like this you know this is by Reynolds I don't know if it's a French or European or worldwide brand, but uh, this is just a basic ballpoint paint. Um, and I I discovered uh, a, a, um, an illustrator on YouTube, I think, and he's doing amazing drawings with this technique. And I will just put a link somewhere, like here, here. <laughs> um, and he's just so amazing, uh, amazingly talented. And the one thing that I really like about this tools is that it's it's a really nice practice and a really nice way of working with patience um, also working with the pressure because it's really hard to handle it and you will have to really go slowly to really build the shades and it's a really nice practice and you don't have to draw with colors if you don't want to you could just practice with one like black for example um, but you can find a lot of different colors back in the days like I don't know like 50 years ago it was hard to find green or orange or pink but now on you can find basically almost every colors. I think, you know, the trickiest part is to draw with less colors, but it's a nice way of practice and if you know how to work with this technique, it's going to be easier to handle the wet technique because you will feel the way, you will feel the gesture to shade. Um, so it's a really nice way of working and I like the results. So, um, so yeah, I will probably do a videos, um, some videos on how to draw with this. Um, so next is the basic um, graphic 
graphite graphite pencils, you know, just the, the pencils. Um, it's a really great way to work only in black and white, especially in the gray used gray tones, because you will just have to focus basically on the lights and the shades and the shadows, and not focus in on the colors. It's gonna it's sometimes really hard to work the colors because you have different areas, different colors, and they don't especially. Um, work the same depending on the light source and all this kind of stuff um, So if you want a video on how to draw uh, in black and white just ask me this is a guy <laughs> I don't know if you can really notice that but I'm trying to do guys <laughs> um, So yeah, I just simply use like here I'm just use the 2b pencils and I also use a blending tool I don't know if I have one here so I can show to you Yeah I use this blending just to, yeah, to blend basically. <laughs> uh, the la the next one is Tombow markers. I've used uh, the Tombow markers of ten, I think two or three drawings. Um, it's basically a brush. You know, you can really see it's a brush tip, and this is watercolor or water based ink inside. And the one thing that I really like about this is that it's more precise than watercolors, of course. And you can really draw with this and after that you can just use water to blend colors. So you have a nice result and really great texture. Um, the downside of this is that it's kind of expensive and the ink inside is not quite blendable. Uh, and also the thing that I don't really like is that the ink will probably um, go like... It's going to be empty pretty soon, I think. Oh, and I forgot to say that there is also a, f a fine nib on the other side. But I don't use it, I only use a brush. Uh, here I just use Tombow markers and I think uh, like liners to do the face. But um, it's a great way to work um, if you want to sketch with watercolor effects. And you also can mix uh, basic watercolors and add the Tombow over it if you want texture it's just like it's a brush watercolor inside you know um so yeah this is for the tumble markers oh and i forgot to say this is kind of expensive i think it's like for 450 maybe five dollars for one i don't know it's like it's get it's a bit cheaper than copic markers but it's still a lot of money i think Next technique is just going to be about the liners, uh, black liners. You can definitely draw with only black liners. Uh, it's going to be a bit hard, but this is just something that I do with black liners. I use the Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen in black. I also use sepia and brown. I also use the Copic Multi Liners. I've got a lot of different liners. I like the Faber Castell because they are really black and they don't fade if you color over them, they stay black. They don't really bleed, so I kind of like this. And also, they are cheaper than Copic Multiliners. Um, so yeah, I use most often the um, I use them, and I've got in extra small, in small, medium, and full. You know, I've got different size. So what's next about the markers? Um, this is just a quick doodle on how to you know I you draw with Copic or basic alcohol markers, but um. Uh, one thing I wanted to show to you is the different kind of markers that I've got. Um, so they don't, they are basically almost the same because the ink inside is the same, but I've got the brush markers, which is this three here. This is the Copic Sketch, basically, Copic Sketch, a Copic Chow, and the Neo Pico. Um, I have a preference for this Chow because it's easier to handle. The color range is really well made um so i like this one they are cheaper than the sketches uh the sketches i don't really like how it feels in my hand the only good thing about this is that they have the label you know you can see the color name if it focused no but yeah you can see the color name here um they hold more ink but they are more expensive and um they have more colors but i don't think it's really useful to have all the colors, so I don't really... I have three sketches. I only bought the colors in sketches that are not in shows. You know, I've got maybe five... Three of... Yeah, five colors. Um, the Neopico are great. 
the thing that I don't really like is that they're kind of hard to open and the brush inside is really too soft for me. Uh, it, I think it, you have to work um, maybe slowly and to just get used to it, but uh, they are really nice. Also, this is the Neo Pico 2 by The Laser. This is just also a Japanese brand. Um, I think you can find this online. Um, so yeah, this is about the brush markers, and the thing that I really like about these three here, well, not this one, but this two here, this is called, this is the Graphite 20 marker, this is basically a pro marker, kinda, you have a chisel nib, and on the other, oh, <laughs> on the other side, it's just, just a tip like this. Um, so this is a graphite. I also own the touch markers by the Korean brand and they are hard to open also. I don't know why but this is just a fine nib and a chisel nib on the other side. One thing that I really like about this one is that you can fill big areas with this and it's cheaper than to use Copic ink. So this is why I've got this. You can use also the pro markers for this. And the last one is just the old version of Trias that I don't really use anymore. I don't like the new Trias. They're really expensive and the, and the, the cups don't hold. And one day I, I bought one and just died in two weeks. So I was really upset. So I never buy Trias again. But I've got the old version. with um, And one thing that I really like about this is that they're really tiny nib here. They're really fine. And it's nice to do small uh, details so I use sometimes this for small details um, so yeah this is a, this is it for the cup for the alcohol uh, markers that I own um, if you have questions if you want tutorials on this you know just tell me um, I will recommend you to buy this Chao collection because the range is really well made um, and if you want to have a cheaper markers to fill big areas, just go for the pro markers or if you can just get the graphite because it's a bit cheaper, I think. This is one of the cheapest that I ever found. I think I spent 350 for this one. So this is just half the price of a copy, so it's really nice. This is it for the alcohol markers. One technique also that I use is watercolors. I use the... I've got two boxes. I've got Winston and Newton here. Um, so I can just open it so you can see how it looks. You know? This is just watercolors. And I put the swatches here so I can see the colors. I use this for really details or small areas when I want a deeper color. Because the Winston and Newton is really vivid and really um, concentrated. But it's also kind of expensive. So I don't use this for like big areas and to do background because... This will die. <laughs> um, for for these parts of the drawings, I usually usually use my other watercolor. This is the Van Gogh, which is a bit cheaper. Uh, and um, one thing that I really like is that this lasts for really long. I've got this box for 10 years and I see, still have a lot of this. <laughs> so I really like this. Uh, here I just use two colors and a liner. Um, if you want, yeah, I will post maybe like you can see a video here, which is my drawing with uh, watercolors. I'm, I was drawing a fairy and I use only watercolors and a liner so you can sh see um, how it works because this is kind of ugly. <laughs> but I wanted just to show to you what tools that I use. And you, usually I use watercolors and I had Copics over it or colored pencils. If you want a tutorial on a mixing technique, just tell me and I will do it also. Um, one of the techniques also that I'm using is the watercolor pencils. This is the choo -choo -choo. Choo -choo -choo. I don't know if you can really see, it's kind of raised. Karat, yeah, Stadler Karat watercolor pencils from a German brand also. Um, I like the watercolor pencils because you can really add an edge to drawing. You can just draw Basically, you draw with pencils, and when you have finished this, you just can blend some of the areas, and it gives just more depth. And it's easier to handle than the Tombow, for example. Your texture is easier to handle than just basic watercolors. But you can also mix watercolors with colored pencils or with this pencils. I be, this is really like a handy and a versatile tool, and I really like this. The downside of this is that I kind of mix some colors. The color range is not really big I guess but it's cheaper than 
watercolors, it's cheaper than colored pencils and it has like the best of both worlds because it can have rough texture and also blended texture so I kind of really like this and if you, I would probably do um, a drawing with this technique uh, when I have patience <laughs> but um, this is just a quick doodle so you can see the texture and I like to mix like different colors and it's just really really cool to draw um, the last technique that I'm going to show to you is the ink I'm using the Memento Dewdrop Memento, yeah, Memento to drop. I don't know if you can really see it. Um, and I've got, I think, 10, maybe 15 colors. And I also use this little spawn dauber, like this. Um, so, yeah, I basically put on the, the purple. Then I just cut off the shape of the face. And I add more color of the darker color, like this is kind of a reddish tone. And after that, I just take a black liner and some white dots. And I'm using this thing here for the whites. This is Jelly Roll by Sakura. This is a basic white pen. Um, so yeah, I, I, not, I didn't practice a lot of this technique, but it's nice if you want to fill big areas also with a really um, brushy effect and blurry effects. It's kind of like the airbrush system of Copic Markers, but a lot cheaper. Um, I also use sometimes bigger sponges, like this thing here, you know. And I've got one here with um, purple. <laughs> I use this also. You can also use sponge with watercolors to have great texture. Um, so yeah, this is basically what I'm using. I also have other tools that I don't really use very often because it's kind of hard to work with this. So this is free um, pastels, paste, pa pastels, yeah. I'm using, sometimes, I use this a lot in, in school basically. This is the Rembrandt um, Soft Pastels. Uh, the, the good thing about this is that they are soft but not too soft. Uh, they don't break and the downside is that it's kind of hard to work because it's pretty big so I have to work in the big motions or maybe cut some pieces and I don't really like to cut my pastels. This is the Conte. I don't know if you can really see the brand so I'm just going to show you the box. Conte. Um, Paris, this is a French brand, and this is hard pastels, but they are also, um, you know, soft, not oily, but um, this is dry pastels and really hard to work and a hard texture, um, but the good side is that this is really tiny, so you can just put some, you can just work with smaller details. And the last one is the Credar, which is basically art chalks. Um, by Dal, which is a French brand, and the good thing about this is that they're really soft and it's like velvet, really, and they smooth really well. And the downside is that it's kind of hard to work with this, so I will just need more practice. This is the reason that I'm not just going to show you a doodle because they suck. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is for the drawing tools. Thanks for watching guys. I know it was kind of long. I hope you understand everything. If you have any questions, if you have any comments or any suggestions, just post a comment and tell me. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> just post a comment and tell me and I will talk to you very soon. Thanks for watching guys. Bye! Hello everyone, it's Takuans here. Sorry it's been a while. So this is the Hi everyone, it's Takuans here. Sorry it's been a while. So this one this the Hi everyone, it's Takuans. Sorry it's been a while. Hi everyone, it's Takuans.